In this video I will be demonstrating how easy it is to create an eco application using Delphi with VCL.net as the presentation framework. First we activate the eco Delphi for .NET project wizard. We will just select that from file new other. We will select VCL.net application from the presets. Next, we will create a simple model which will consist of a company and we will add a name attribute of type string we will then add an employee they will also have a name attribute We will then create an association between the company and the employee which will indicate that an employee can belong to zero or one companies and a company can have zero to many employees. At this point we will compile our model. And we will now move on to the presentation layer. In order to show the runs time instances of the classes in our model we need to use the tReference handle component. This allows us to establish the context in which our object constraint language expressions will be executed upon. In this case the context will be the eco space itself so we don't need to set any additional properties. The expressions themselves are executed using a T expression handle component. Now these need to have a root handle which can be either a T reference handle or another T expression handle which we will demonstrate later. In this case here we are returning the companies so we will give that a meaningful name. We will then invoke the expression OCL editor and we want to return company all instances which will simply return all instances of the company in the active eco space. We now need a data source which we can then associate our expression handle with. and obviously we need some sort of way to present this information. We'll whack this into a group box and we will just simply use a standard TDB grid. Any standard data aware VCL.NET components can be used in the eco applications and they should operate in a manner familiar to most Delphi database developers. So we will just set the data source to DS companies. As you can see there, it has picked up the name attribute from our model. Okay. We also want to set up a detail relationship to show the employees for a company. For that we will need another expression handle. Okay. In this case we will set the root handle to the expression handle we set up, returning the company instances. And we will set the expression simply to employees as that is the name of the attribute exposed on the company instance to 
contain the list of employees associated with that company. Once again, we will need a data source. And we will once again associate that with our expression handle. We will just steal this here. Just make this form a bit bigger here. Okay. And we will just change the data source for this. Okay, now let's take this for a test drive to see how it looks. Okay, as with any standard Delphi application using uh, TDB Grid, we can simply edit in line if we want. Add a company, let's add another one. And let's add some employees. Okay, we'll add some to the other companies as well. And as you can see, when we select a different company, the employees for that particular company will be shown. Okay, let's shut that down. And we'll just run it again. And you'll note that we no longer have the company and employee information shown. This is because we didn't actually persist the information that we entered in the first time we ran it. Now by default we do have persistence set up which is going to an XML file called data.xml which will reside in the application directory. But what we actually need to do is explicitly tell Echo that we want to make these say it save these changes. So we just need to add a button on our form. Okay, and then it's on click. We'll just eco space. Update database. Now let's try running this again. Once again, we'll just add some data in here. Okay, and this time we will save the changes. Now let's restart this application and our data this time should be loaded when the application starts. And there it is.